What's up everybody, Tiakum here with Stoyak Quilting. In today's tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you make this big pineapple block. Let's get started. So as always, we're gonna dive right on into our project. As you can see, I've already gone ahead and pre-cut down most of my fabric here to make our wall hanging. Right here, all of these blocks are five and a half by five and a half inch squares. We have our five by fives, and then this is five inches by width of fabric. Really simple cutting here, but what we're gonna start with is our five by fives, or sorry, our five and a half by five and a half inch squares. These will make up our half square triangles, which finished size will be five by five squares. What we're gonna do, the very first thing we're gonna do is put them right sides together. I'm using some batiks here, so there's not really a right or a wrong side. What I'm going to do is mark a line on a diagonal here. That way I can have a reference point to sew my quarter inch seam. I am going to be sewing my quarter inch seam on both sides of the line. Take it over to the sewing machine and start sewing. Turn it around. Now that I've got this sewn, I'm going to do the same thing to the rest of these squares here. So everyone knows, down in the description below, we're providing you with a free pattern. That way you know which ones go with which, which white one goes with the yellow one, and so on and so forth. But I'm gonna go ahead and get these all sewn and we'll be right back. Now that we have them all sewn, it's time to cut them. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take one of my half square triangles, put my ruler on it and cut on the same line that I marked. And we just put these aside because here in just one second, we're going to have to iron all of these to the dark side. So let's just cut these real quick. Now that we have these all cut, I'm going to bring them over to my iron here and I'll slide the iron over so everyone can see. And I'm going to start ironing these to the dark side. I'm, I am going to stack them in color. So I'm going to put all my whites and yellows together, all my greens and whites together, so on and so forth. So just like that, we have our half square triangles sewn and ironed. It's time to square them up. I'm gonna grab a square up tool or a square ruler here. And we're gonna be squaring all of these down to five by five squares. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit off the top two sides here. I'm going to turn this all the way around and I'll put this back into the center so everyone can see. And then I'm going to line up my two five inch marks. That way I have a perfectly square five inch half square triangle block. just like so. I'm gonna keep doing this, get them all cut out, and we'll be right back. So now that we've got our half square triangles all squared up, it's time to start assembling our block here. What we're gonna do is start from top and go all the way down to the bottom. So what we'll need is we're gonna need our greens here, and I've got a couple of whites here. So I'm gonna slide this all out of the way and we're going to start assembling. We're gonna put a white, and I'm not sure how much of that is seen perfect, in each corner, just like you see behind me, which I'm gonna look just to make sure. Then we have one going this way, one being the mirror image, which that makes up the top portion of 
the block. Again, we've got mirror images here. Just like that. I like to lay everything out, that way you can see exactly what it's supposed to look like, sew it exactly how it's supposed to be. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start from left to right, just doing um, right sides together and sewing our quarter inch seam down. So first one sewn, I'm going to sew the other side now, now I'll sew those together. Like so, and then sew my two parts together. Just like that. We're, we're gonna repeat the same process for the next row. And what I like to do is build all of my rows and then I'll do all the ironing on these and then I'll show them all together. So the crown of the pineapple is complete. Now it's time to work on the body of the pineapple. What we're going to do is put one of our half square triangle pieces down. And again, they're just going to mirror each other. Just like so. One of our yellows, and I try to contrast it with different color yellows here. I've got one that's a little bit lighter that I'm gonna put in. And then on our second row of the yellow, we're going to put down four random colors or random pieces here. Without any half square triangles on the side. Let's go ahead and sew these two rows and then we'll finish off the pineapple. Now that I've got my next two rows sewn, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this aside just due to the space that I have for filming. I'm gonna slide this to the side and we're gonna continue working on our pineapple. Which, the next step is, we're gonna do two more rows, as you can see here, of straight squares. Okay, I'm gonna put one there, one here, and they are four across. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have the same pattern twice touching each other. Perfect. I'm gonna slide these over a little bit. And then to finish off our third row, we take our two remaining pieces of our squares, put them down at the bottom, and finish it off with our last two half square triangles, just like that. So I'm gonna finish up sewing these. We're gonna sew them in the exact same manner that we have been. Now that I've got everything sewn or all the rows sewn, I've already gone ahead and pre-ironed it. That way I don't have to bore you with the ironing, but everything's ironed. 
it's time to show our rows together and let me show you how you do that. I've laid out my entire pineapple on my table. That way I know exactly how it's going to be put together. It's very visual so it's easy to do. Next thing is I'm going to put them right sides together. And the thing that you want to make sure of is all your seams are lining up perfectly. I'm going to grab some wonder clips here and I'm going to clip these together. That way I do know that I am where I need to be. So that looks pretty good right there. Clip. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to clip it, take it to the sewing machine, and sew this together. So first row, or first two rows sewn together. Now I'm going to take the next two rows and do the exact same thing. Put them right sides together. And I'm working twos for all of my rows. That way I do know that they are getting put together properly. Next row is done, and we just stack them kind of on top of each other. Now it's time to attach our rows that we've already sewn together to each other. So I'm going to start with the crown, and we're going to just follow the same process right sides together using the wonder clips. So we are almost there. Last seam to finish up our pineapple block. I turn this around that way it's easier to pin. So we've got our pineapple block finished. This is what it looks like without the borders. So you can turn this into whatever you want. You can make a couple more of them, make it into a quilt. You can put borders on, which is what I'll do, and have it look just like the one behind me. Table toppers, pillows, you name it, you can make it with this block. This is a super fun project to make, and like I said, I'm going to just finish it up by putting five inch borders all the way around, starting with the sides. Just a friendly reminder before we end this video is our show season starts this coming week. We've got back-to-back -back trade shows for the next eight to 10 weeks. We're starting in California and then going to Denver. Check out our website, which has all of our show information there. But if you've liked this video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and don't be afraid to share it with your friends. We're gonna leave instructions on how to make this quilt block down in the description below. My name's Tiankum, teaching you how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Sew Yeah Quilting.